Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. Before we get started, I do want to mention all the songs are in a Spotify playlist. There is a link below for that if you wanted just to find an easy way to link and find all the songs. Uh, I'm assuming most of you use Spotify. I'm not even 100% sure, but I'm, maybe let me know in the comments if I should make another playlist. But let's hop into it. There is a song for every category this week. So let's start off with trash, songs that I think are straight up trash. Uh, we've got Dead Man Walking by Zomboy. Uh, the new Dead Man Walking Part 1 EP, by the way, there's lots of other projects that came out this week, lots of EPs and albums, so there's tons of new music to listen to this week, uh, so if any of this intrigues you, go listen to the rest of it. Um, but yeah, uh, promising intro to this track, uh, but uh, the drop was insane and not a good way for me. Uh, the scream is not for me, and the drop is very tinny with horrible dynamics. Uh, it's just a style I do not particularly enjoy, so if you love the just absolutely destructive dubstep with screamo, maybe you'll enjoy this, but not for me in the slightest. Uh, next up, uh, Like I Used To by Slushy, also in the trash category. Uh, a Slushy Summer uh, LP is coming in September, and I think every week for the past five weeks there's been a single release. There's, I think, 15 songs, and I, I wonder if at this point there's going to be a song every week until the album drops, which I think is going to happen. So this is going to be my last time doing the Slushy Summer stuff, last time doing songs from Slushy Summer for the rest of until the album drops because... Um, the song is the worst I've heard yet. Um, uh, I, I'm done covering this. It's all the songs are so derivative, uh, an awful kick, a weak synth. It's just, yeah, I don't love stuff on Dim Mac, and this is a great reason why. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm done with Slushy until uh, other stuff comes out from him. Uh, moving on to the bad category stuff I just thought was kind of bad. Maybe you'll like it. Uh, it's not, definitely not for me, but uh, AWOL by Papa Khan. Uh, melodic dubstep from NCS here. Uh, still not a huge fan of Papa Khan, so if you like Papa Khan, maybe you'll enjoy this, but I find this to be a little bit weaker than some of his stuff recently, especially on Monster Cat. Uh, the, I'm really not a fan of his unkiltered drum pattern, uh, and the synths just it, just, it doesn't resonate with me, so it, it's really not for me, so maybe you enjoy it, though. Uh, but that's our one song from Bad This Week as we hop on to Meh, songs that I thought were just meh. Uh, maybe you'll enjoy them a little bit more than Bad or definitely more than Trash, I hope. Uh, we've got Time Bomb by The Chainsmokers. Uh, I feel absolutely nothing from the song uh, and not in a good way or bad way. It's the, it's the most like this song I've heard in a long time. There really isn't anything happening. I'm done with them releasing extra songs off of this album. I don't get it. Just release them as other singles. I, I don't get it. Up next, uh, Dark Side, the sped up remix by Alan Walker and Ara, I think you want to say that? Uh, he did a slowed down EP and now he's done a sped up EP of older songs. Um, it's very basic Alan Walker, uh, but uh, it's just it's just a little bit faster and a little bit higher pitched vocals of the original song. The uh, I do this I do think this is actually better than the original though. Going back and listening to the original after this makes the original sound super slow, and so it just it doesn't it, it makes it sound worse. It makes the original sound worse, and that's just bad. You don't want that in a remix. So, but you like a VIP. Up next, we've got Throne by Mazer and Calva Luis. Uh, I, uh, you heard it earlier, I don't like scream, screamo vocals, so this wasn't for me. Uh, I actually thought this was one of Mazer's weakest beats as of recent. Uh, the, the EP they did recently I wasn't a huge fan of, but the stuff before I really loved. And, um, yeah, I don't know, I just, uh, I didn't resonate with this one too much, so maybe, maybe you like this more, but... Uh, and then we've got Desire by Ace Aura. The new Revive EP is out. Uh, and this is not just not my style of jittery dubstep. I prefer when Ace Aura does a little bit more of the melodic side rather than the more kind of rhythm stuff. And so uh, this leaned a little bit more heavily into that rhythm style. And if you guys know me, I'm just, I'm not a rhythm guy. So that's why it's just in meh. We move on to Never Easy by Manila Killa and Trace. Uh, the new Dusk LP by Manila Killa is out. Uh, it's a pretty tame track um, with good vocals. Um, just not anything really too interesting. If you like Manila Killa's sound and style, uh, maybe you like this. But um, yeah, it's just it's just kind of a tame track, I would say. As we move on to Projection by Above and Beyond, uh, it is an Electro House and slash uplifting trance fusion. Uh, but uh, like it's something you heard before. Not really my style. I don't really love uh, uh, Anjuna beats. I think it's how you say it. Uh, their, their house uplifting trance stuff isn't really for me. And so if you like that really, really like European house sound, then I think you'll like this. But uh, yeah, it's just meh. 
As we move into Tempest by Cage, uh, kind of a creepy track. It's quite an off-putting style of uh, like this deep house uh, in a kind of cool way, but it's just, it's an odd track. It's only you're like, oh, hey, this is kind of cool, but also like, what? It's kind of the best way to describe it. So uh, that's that. Uh, as we move into uh, How Do I Make You Love Me? Uh, the Sebastian Ingros and Salvatore Ganacci remix, originally by The Weeknd. Uh, very minimalistic Deep House uh, with a very, very deep bass line, as Deep House would have you believe. Um, very club-focused song, and it's meant to be a remix. It's meant to be played in clubs, meant to be played in the festivals, and because it's really a weekend remix. So uh, that's uh, that's that. As we move on to Mess by Lucas, the Ascension EP is out from this. Uh, it's a fun house with some uh, gnarly processed pads here and a fun little vocal sample, uh, but uh, nothing too interesting after that, I think, for me. The song is, uh, it's good, but not good enough for it to land in good for me. I think it's just, uh, I think it's just meh. So uh, check out the EP if you'd like uh, more Lucas. So we move on to Insert Coin by Nitro Fun, bringing back the true 8-bit sound, uh, Electro House, but I'm not sure, and I don't think he's really been able to capture that kind of crazy cool 8-bit video game sound design that he did with Cheat Codes and New Game and Final Boss. He's tried to kind of replicate it with even Easter Egg from the 10-year anniversary Monster Cat project and uh, other stuff like this. And it's just, yeah, I don't think he's been able to replicate that goal that he struck earlier, but uh, it's still, still a good song nonetheless. As we move into See Straight by Hello World, uh, very acoustic non-drop sections, and even the drops are pretty minimal Minimal in itself. Uh, I did feel a little underwhelming, I think, to me, and it kind of lacked that emotional punch I think it was trying to go for, uh, but maybe that was just me not relating to it, so that's why it's in the top of meh. As we move into the good category songs that I think are pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, we're starting off with All We Needed by Coven. Uh, pretty free-flowing tracks here, uh, free-flowing track. Uh, Katie's vocals are a little bit too processed in some areas for me, but this does feel like a good fusion between their Butterfly Effect LP and the Reality Reach EP, kind of the fusion of those two sounds or ideas, motifs. Um, so yeah, I liked it. I was a fan. We move on to uh, Don't Look Back, the More Kismet remix, originally by Kill the Noise featuring Moel. Uh, colorful production, as always, from More Kismet. Uh, very unique sound design, again, as always, with everything that they do. And uh, a good mix-up from the original, I would say. So this is a good good take on the original track. To move on to Higher by Pegboy Nerds and Sofon, uh, a lighter liquid DNB track from these two, which we hadn't really heard as of late. We've heard a bit of dance floor DNB and some dr dubstep, but uh, not really quite the liquid DNB. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, a track I really enjoyed. The vocals were really clean. I'm not sure who they are, they're uncredited, or if it's either one of the three of them singing here, but um, I, uh, I, I, I did like the track. I think it's one of the better ones from Nerd Nation so far. As we move on to Forgive Me, my by Odessa featuring Izzy Bizu. Uh, the last goodbye LP is out. I did a reaction to it if you'd like to see that. Um, but uh, this is a more soulful, funky take on the project. It reminds me a little bit more of the last album that they did. Uh, there isn't really a whole ton of songs here on this project that are like it. Um, but uh, yeah, not too crazy about this compared to the other singles, but uh, still a great take. And it's grown on me already in the, in the weekend I've been listening to it, so... We move into, again, the Dabin and Mern VIP, originally by Dabin and Mern. Uh, it's a bumpin' VIP, very fun take on the original. Uh, really enjoyed it over the original, and we've got this kind of Between Brokens remix project LP live edits from Dabin. So there's a whole bunch of new stuff um, from, or I guess, remixes of Dabin's things if you want to check out that. Um, but uh, yeah, the song does kind of die at the end, which I guess it was made for either a live set or just to be transitioned out of. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. First drop particularly, I quite enjoyed. So uh, as we move on to Dreamscape by Ramesses B, the Night Owl LP is out, and this is a beautiful Liquid DNB track. Uh, it is the kind of classic space atmosphere that you hear from Ramesses B, and uh, this is Prime DNB from uh, Ramesses B. This is this is him kind of producing some some fantastic stuff. I um I didn't love the I think it was a Cosmonauts the first LP he put out uh, kind of by himself, and uh, this one I think is shaping up to be a lot better than that one. So uh, check out the Night Owl LP if you'd like more Ramesses B. And uh, to the surprise of no one, our standout of the week is Dead Man Walking by Grant and Ellis. Two Dead Man Walking tracks, one at the very end of the list and one at the very top of the list. Zomboy and then Grant and Ellis. 
Uh, this track is absolutely amazing. I love it. It is a beautiful fusion between the two of their sounds. Um, I'm just a fanboy for both Grant and Ellis, so I, there's a ton of bias here for me, honestly. I'm going to say that, but um, this is a top three Grant song all time, uh, top Ellis song of all time for me without even a doubt. So I absolutely love the song and uh, I think you will too. But um, that's been it for this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of these songs in the comment section below. But other than that, I've been Bowtie Media and I'll see you guys in another video.